In this lesson, we're going to talk about volume conversions, and I'm going to add in a few extra conversions that you need to remember, but it's all for volume. So with volume, we're typically measuring, you can think of it as we're measuring things like liquid, like water. So if you're busy baking or if you're cooking or whatever you're doing, very often they'll tell you to use things like 500 milliliters or two liters, or we also get kiloliters, for example. So these are the main ones that it would be important for you to know. And we could make a little conversion uh, graph or something um, like this. So um, the biggest one is kiloliter then liter, and then milliliter. So one kiloliter is a lot more than one liter, and one liter is a lot more than one milliliter. So you always put the biggest one here, like I showed you in the previous lesson where we looked at distance. You'd put that over there, kiloliters, and then liters, and then milliliters. Now, with volume, it's a lot easier than with distance. With distance, we had to put numbers in between, like a thousand, and then there was a 10, and then there was a hundred. But with with um, volume, it's just a thousand every single time. So that's easy to remember. Now, when you go to the right, and we are going to do a lot of examples coming up, guys. So we're going to practice all of this, okay? It's quite a few examples. Here, you would multiply whenever you go to the right. And whenever you go this way, then you would divide. Okay, now there's some other ones that I want you to remember. If you look at one centimeter, Kevin, why are you talking about centimeters, bro? I thought this was all about volume. Hear me out, you'll see what I'm about to say. If you look at the length of one centimeter, it's about that. Now, if you had to make a box, okay, if you had to make a box, and all of the lengths are one centimeter, then your box would look like that. So because this is a 3D shape, um, and you, if you had to go work out, if, if we know that all of these are one, if you had to go work out the volume of the shape, it would be one times one times one, and so it would be one centimeter to the power of three, okay? So that's a one centimeter to the power of three box. Now, if you had to put water inside that box, they have been able to prove that when you're putting in, uh, if you had to put water into that box, you would be able to put um, one milliliter, You'd put one, it's a tiny little box, so you'd put one milliliter of water. So the conversion that I want you to know is that a one centimeter cubed box can hold one milliliter of water, okay? Or one milliliter of liquid. We can just think of it as liquid. So um, a one centimeter cube box can hold one milliliter of liquid. Okay, so remember that one. Okay, I just wrote it over here. Whoopsie, I just wrote it over here um, so that I can show you this next thing. In this next example, I want you to think of this as a big box. Now it's one meter, one meter. You know how big a meter is. If you, take, if, you, if you go for a walk and you take a big step, that's one meter. And then let's let this be one meter. And then this is also one meter. So if you had to work out the volume of this box, this is a one meter cube, not a centimeter. Now we're looking at a meter. So this box is much larger than this box. Okay. Now, if you were to put water into this box, let's say you had to go fill up this box, this box with water, um, you would be able to put 1,000 liters of water or liquid into that. Okay, So that is the next conversion I want you to know. If you have a one meter cube box, you will be able to put 1,000 liters into that. So what you need to know is, and then we're going to go do some examples. I want you to have this written down. So that's like a thing that you will um, have written down. And then these two conversions I want you to have as well. Whenever we're talking about volumes and liquids and things like that. So here's our first example. They would like us to go from liters. Okay, so from liters to milliliters. Okay, so we're going to the right hand side. So because we're going to the right we have to multiply because you see it says that when you go to the right, you multiply. So all we'll do is we'll say 3,4 multiply by 1,000 and that's going to give us 3,400 milliliters. Here's our next example. So now we're going from kiloliters, 
Okay, so kiloliters is over there, all the way to milliliters. So we are going to the right, and so we're going to multiply. So we're going to say 2,8 multiply. Now, we'll say multiply. Okay, so we're first going to go from um, kiloliters to liters, that's 1,000. And then we're going to multiply over here by another 1,000. And so if you had to work this out, it would give you 2, 8, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then you're going to say milliliters. Now we're going from milliliters to liters. So we're going from here, and we are going to go to there. So because we're going left, now we're going to divide. You see this arrow says if you go left, then you divide. So we're going to say 3150 divide by 1000 and that'll give us 3.15 liters. Don't forget to give the units, okay? Now we're going from milliliters to kiloliters. Okay, so we're going from here all the way to here. So we're going to say 415, then we're going to say um, divide by 1000 for this first part, and then we're going to go divide by another 1000. And if you have to work that out, you end up with 0 0.000415 kiloliters. Okay, three more examples. Ah, so here's a cool one. Now we're going from milliliters to centimeter cube. Now you just need to know that they are the same. They are one gives you one. So if we have four milliliters, then that is the same um, as four centimeter cube cube. So that's the answer there. Now this one says 1,400 liters to meters cubed. So what we can see is that to go with meters cubed and liters, um, it's a thousand. But we've got to be careful whether we need to divide or whether we need to multiply. So if you have a thousand liters, then that gives you one meter cube. So to go from 1,400 liters, we're going to divide by 1,000, and that's going to give us 1.4 meters cubed. Now this is a good question, because kiloliters does not convert to centimeters cube directly. So we only know this one for, meters, for centimeters cubed. So what we'll do is we'll first change this kiloliters into milliliters, okay? Because kiloliters and milliliters can be converted, and then once we have milliliters, then we can just use this one, okay? You might have to just take a bit of time, just think about what we've said there. So we, because these two do not go together, can you see we cannot find them? But what we can do is we can put these two together, and then we've got milliliters, and then we can get centimeters. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. So, so step one, we're going to convert the kiloliters to milliliters. And so to go from kiloliters to milliliters, you go in that direction. So you're going to say 2. Then because we're going to the right, you're going to multiply. So you're going to say multiply. Now we're going to go past this number, so we multiply by 1,000. And then we're going to also go past this number, so we multiply by another 1,000. And so that's going to give us 2 million uh, milliliters. 2 million milliliters. Now we have milliliters, and we know that 1 milliliter is the same as 1 centimeter cube. So we can then say, step 2, where we convert milliliters to centimeters, and we will see that 2,000, I mean 2 million, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, milliliters is the same as 2 million centimeter cube.